My name is Tommy Lanham. And when I was a little kid in this very church building, I can remember coming through the aisle of that church building and coming through and shaking the minister's hand. His name was Jack Bunch. And then for some reason, I would turn around and go back into the crowd, come back through the line and shake the minister's hand again. And then I would go back through the line and come through again. And that seems innocent and all, but it was really creating a problem. People were trying to get out, and I was bumping into people, and I don't know, maybe I knocked some people over. I don't know. I didn't really care. I just want to go through the line and shake the minister's hand. And one day, I think probably to maybe bring a stop to all the commotion, the minister took me by the shoulders, and he brought me over beside him. And he says, how about you just stand here? and shake everybody else's hand as they go out. Man, he could not have given me a million dollars that would have meant any more to me than what he did right there. And maybe that was one of the things that sparked that passion that I have for ministry. Another passion that I had when I was a little kid was for music. When I was about seven years old, I saw the movie Grease. I don't know why my parents let me watch the movie Grease at seven years old, but they did, and I immediately became passionate about music and about singing. And both of those passions live on up until this day. Matter of fact, when I graduated high school, I decided to go to college, not because I had a desire to get more schooling or anything like that. I had a desire to go into ministry. And so I went to Bible college. When I first went, I actually majored as a voice major. I later switched that over to uh, preaching. And eventually got to do both of those. I ran a ministry for about eight years called Upside Down Ministries, where I got to do both preaching and teaching and do music, leading worship, and, and doing small concerts in churches. I got to follow my passion. As I grew older, some of those passions kind of shifted and, and, and have extended. I do more than just preach in churches now. I do seminars and, and live events where I do public speaking, encouraging people to follow their passion. I also do life coaching as well. As I discovered what life coaching was and got some life coaching myself, I developed a passion for that and began to Follow that passion as well. Matter of fact, I am here in a few weeks getting ready to finish up my master's degree in life coaching. And some of you have heard me talk about when I was in grade school and even in college, I was not that good a student. I was a C student at best. I'm getting ready to graduate with a master's degree in life coaching with a 4.0. It's not because I've gotten smarter, but it's because I've found something that I'm passionate about. I cannot learn enough about coaching and how it works and how it can empower people to not only follow their passion, but their purpose as well. I love how Tony Robbins finishes out his seminars when he's doing live seminars. He'll close out with this tag, live with passion. That's my encouragement to you as we end this video. Whatever your passion may be, it may be similar to mine, it may be completely different than mine. That's okay. Whatever God has put that passion in you, my encouragement to you is to follow that passion. Discover what it is and follow that passion. If you want some help with that, that's what I do as a coach. Is I help people to not only discover their passion, but to be able to live out that passion. You can go to my website at www.tommylanham.com. Dot com. You can find out more information. You can read some, some previous blogs that I've talked about how to discover your passion. But the important thing is not whether you visit my website or read my other blogs. The important thing is you discover your passion and you live the rest of your life following that passion. Life's too short not to follow your passion. So I want to leave you in this video the same way that Tony Robbins leaves thousands of people in his seminars, and that's simply this, live with passion.